Antonio. Kudus. Oh, spectacular! What a dazzling goal from Mohamed Kudus. A special, special player who scores another special, special goal. Suker. And sharp already. Oh, good ball, Canute! What a fine goal by West Ham. And for Frederick Canute, the wait is over. And for West Ham, is the wait over for a victory here in Upton Park. All about the vision of Suker. Finish from the Frenchman. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a great shot. He has struck an extra set of a shot. He may never strike a ball better. Bearing in mind the extreme balance, if you can call it that, of this derby. Could go down in hammer spoke for. Truly a hammer blow. So numerically disadvantaged, they must now defend this. And it's an equaliser straight away from Mark Vivian Foy. What a game this is. Simple, really. A knockdown, a touch from Sinclair. Shot beneath the goalkeeper Pressman. That's a lovely ball, Diame. Now Diame's cross. That's more like it. Up goes Maiga and scores. West Ham lead. Modibo Maiga. It's his first goal in over a year, and he may just have headed West Ham into the semi-final of the League Cup. Diame. His first cross was terrible, his second was much better, and put away by Maiga. So foul just clipped his standing foot of the way through. The latest delivery is brilliant, and again! It's the new look West Ham, the new supply line of James Ward-Prowse creates the goal for Nair Fakir. And West Ham United season is up and running at London Stadium. Again at the far post, who has the simple task of heading it into the back of the net over Conor Gallagher. There was only one winner. How long it is, but all we know is it's will be featuring again in 2012. The Abbey! What an impact this man has made! Mohamed Diame off the bench, and he looks like he might just have won it for West Ham. Well, that's West Ham at their best in this second half. O'Brien just lifts the ball into the box, can't the goal. Shields it, races back, Ivanovic doesn't get tight. That's what? Oh, it's got him! And West Ham! See it here. I take this quick throw in. It comes back to Arthur Masuaka. Rhys James comes out. Looks like there's nothing happening. I'm going to put it in the box. Manfini. To hell is beaten. And West Ham snatched the lead. Diafra Sato. Spun and hit. It's a good thing Upton Park doesn't need its roof after this. The only ball he had really was the pullback. Sloppy from United. Rojo giving the ball away. Didn't get enough distance on the clearance. It's an excellent ball from Creswell to see the run of Lanzini. Lanzini only had one option really to pull it back. Facing away from Winks. Masuaku's cross is 3 2. It's checked for the assay. Grand stand finish. The fellows of the Tottenham Cockle are ruffled here. West Ham 2 now, Spurs 3. What are you talking about? Get into high areas, get the ball in. Super run by Kyoto to get into the box. 
There's not enough bodies in there, but that's where they did well. Lanzini looks for an opening, there isn't quite one there. Soufal floats it over. Ale, what a goal! Sebastian Ale! With a goal of the highest quality. Spectacular! And the French born Ivory Coast International fires West Ham level. Bojevic. Oh, that's a giveaway. Fernandez won it back, and here's Ayu running at Dan. Passed him twice. Oh, just marvel at that! A piece of dazzling brilliance from Andre Ayu, and it's 2 0 to West Ham United. Glorious goal. To Obina. Obina. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely dynamite. Just as Blackpool think they're back in the game, an absolutely stunning strike from Victor Abina. Could well have wrapped the points up for West Ham. This is pure quality, a strike from distance. Kingston just doesn't seem to see it coming, whether he can do anything about it either. Unbelievable strike here, but again, it's all that Scott Parker picks up possession. He's been controlling the game in there. No one closes Abina down, and that is an absolute rocket. Chance to go in front. Ben Rama, what a who's not had a great game so far. But step up with the penalty, and boy, what a good penalty that was. Keeper goes one way, his shot goes the other, and he could make himself an absolute West Ham legend.